The following is a presentation of GT2 Entertainment, Las Vegas, Nevada. Here's the 3-2 pitch, straight three called, looking at a fastball. Fastball, swung on and belted. He got it with a swing and a miss on a 94-mile-an-hour fastball. The pitch, fastball, swung on, and hit in the air to deep right field. It is high. It is far. It is gone. This is Country Fastball, powered by Earthlink. Here's your host, Robert Guan. Nick Swisher from the Cleveland Indians, early in your rookie season in Oakland. At one point, you were in a bit of a slump, and then you got some advice on your swing from someone you weren't expecting to get advice from, Kenny Chesney. You know what? He said, you know, it looks like you're having a little problems hit with two strikes. And in the back, he told you that he, he told me that. And in the back of my mind, I'm thinking to myself, "All right, Kenny, you stick to the singing, and I'll deal with the hitting." But you know, he told me, he said, "Hey, you know, I used to play a little bit back in high school. You know, uh, if you need some help, I'll take you in the cage right now and teach you a few things." And uh, you know, it was funny because that night I, I ended up in my first at bat. I hit a home run with two strikes, and it kind of got me back on the roll again. Summertime is Florida Georgia Line is joining us, Tyler Hubbard and Brian Kelly. Brian, you played at Florida State for a little while, and I guess it was a high school traveling teammate mm-hmm. yeah. from the Milwaukee Brewers, Jonathan Lucroy. Yeah, I've known him since we were, I think, freshmen or sophomores in high school, and I hadn't talked to him in a while, and I, he, he got a new number. We were in Chicago over the summer, and they were playing the White Sox. Went to the game, went down by the dugout, and he turns around, I'm like, Jonathan, he turns around, totally big league me. Because I mean, he had no Whoa. he had no idea that I was going to be there. Right. And he, What's up, dude? He turns around. He's like totally big league me. What's day game after a night game? Maybe he was just kind of in a fog. I don't know. I'm not going to speak for him, but uh, no, nah, he's he's a good dude. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff Francoeur from the Atlanta Braves, our guest. I've heard from guys in your clubhouse. You are a country music fan, true? I am probably the biggest country music fan on our team. That would be saying something on this team because there are plenty of those. Yes, but I am a diehard country music guy. You would be the captain of that team, then? I would be. Brian McCann, Jeff Francoeur, he made a very big claim. He said, I'm probably the biggest country music fan in this clubhouse. Uh, he he doesn't even know the words to half the songs. You know? He'll start singing it and, and won't know the actual words. Jeff, he's a baseball player, but he's also an NFL fan. But are you a fantasy football guy then, too? Oh, yeah. I'm in like five leagues, so I got crushed last year. I had a bad fantasy football league last year, except in one I made the semifinals. So this year I'm doing my research and looking forward to the drafts coming up. You tie all your teams together, try to get one guy on all your teams or three guys, or you just mix it all up? My big thing is I always try to draft different guys for five teams, and that way, you know, come middle of the season, you got two or three teams that are right in it, and then you put full focus into those teams and try to win one league, you know? Give up a couple leagues to get a couple. Some guys are only in one league. They're yeah. losers. Yeah, they really are. If you're only in one fantasy football league, you're missing out on Sundays. What I love about Sunday. Jim Leland from the Detroit Tigers. It's been told that you would be a willing participant in karaoke. True? Oh, I've done that several times, but that was normally in my drinking days. I don't <laughs> I don't drink anymore, so I used to sing once in a while for the guys. In a karaoke situation, a couple martinis. I've been known to get up there, but those days are long, long gone. So there hasn't been any aspirations of being a professional singer in life, and it couldn't be a second career for you? Well, at one time, I definitely wanted to do that. But, you know, I smoke so much now that my voice, I can't hit the high notes anymore. I mean, believe it or not, I used to sing weddings for people. And my voice sounds deep and rasp now, but at one time I could go from a very low baritone type to a second tenor if I wanted to. I've been known to like have a couple of pops in there to get up there. I normally don't embarrass myself, but I'm not near as good as I used to be. I ain't as good as I once was. From the Washington Nationals, one of our favorite guys back on the program, Adam LaRoche, joining us. Probably the best guy to explain the whole Jason Aldean and Luke Bryan connection. It's almost like you guys all got big league at the same time. That's exactly what it feels like. I met Jason in Atlanta. He came out to sing the National Anthem one day. And Luke Bryan shows up uh, in Atlanta, start hanging out with him a little bit. We travel with those guys all winter and, and go hunt as much as we can. And we do make them bring their guitars and come play a little campfire concert for us once in a while. Somebody's got to do the work around there, right? There you go, that's right. Visiting with Josh Johnson from the Toronto Blue Jays. Tell us about Heidi. How did you guys meet? Uh, we met in Vegas. Uh, I was just out there with one of my buddies right after I got called up to the big leagues, and she was there with a couple of her friends, and we met and were married 10 months later. That's living. So, I mean, it sounds like it could be like some script in a movie or something along those lines. I mean, it's some kind of <laughs> swanky, uh, ultra lounge type of scene, and uh, you, you saw her, and it all worked out? Yeah, it did. I and mean, when she walked in, I said, I'm going to marry that girl, and I ended up marrying her. So, it stuck to my word, I guess. Wow. Yeah, it, everybody should be as lucky as that. Yeah, I guess it's my, it was easy for me. I don't know. It's not usually not easy. Easy for everybody else. I want to kiss a girl. 
From the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, Josh Hamilton joining us. I was, was, was right? Spider-Man. You were, well, you were Spider-Man. Until the costume ripped, well, who, and then I had to shut it down. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so how did you decide this one? Uh, my girls picked it up. Oh, they did. They yeah. picked it for you. All right. So then, uh, I mean, did it? Was it too small or something? Yeah, I mean, it's snug. it's one of those skin-tight things that you're supposed to be form-fitting in. I guess. Yeah, it was a little too snug and. Uh, it busted in some in bad places, so we shut it down. You seem like a versatile guy, but spandex doesn't seem to be one of the strengths I would pick for. I look pretty good in spandex. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, stay hot. My backside is my best side. <laughs> <laughs> Don't back up. This is Taylor Swift, and you better batter up. Hey, everybody, this is Garth Brooks and Catch Robert every week with the biggest country hits and baseball's biggest stars. And we are Lady and Bell. You're listening to Country Fastball.